Well, it's a rainy day here in the Great Northwest. I thought I'd take this time to video a piece of art that I've been working on. Uh, someone asked me about uh, these ideas for metal sculptures that I do and kind of how that comes about. What was the question? If I if I know what it's going to look like uh, when I start or something like that. But anyway, for me, the way it works is I get a general idea of what I want to build. Say a dragon, for instance. But the fact that I used found objects, they say now, we used to call it junk. <laughs> uh, the fact that I use these shapes makes it so that I don't really know what it's going to look like until it's finished. And uh, that's the fun part of it because it changes and evolves as it goes along. So while I have a general idea of what I want to build, uh, the finished product is as much a surprise to me as is anyone else. And I like that. So, I thought we'd take a look at, uh, at this little guy today. And you remember seeing the head of this guy uh, when I was building it. But what is unique about this piece and what I am going to try to do uh, with my art from now on is to use the pieces that I find or pick up without shaping or changing anything. Like these little hound dogs that I build, you know, I cut those faces out and I bend them on the anvil and hammer them and shape them uh, into what I want them to be, but with this piece I um, took a cue from my favorite metal artist, a guy named Dan Clinert. And I'll show you some of his work sometime. He doesn't uh, cut or bend or shape anything. He just picks up pieces that already have the right shape and form. And that's what I try to do with this piece. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'll just give you a little tour here. Uh, you can see a bit of his claw on the end of his wing here, but what worked out really well were these cant hooks, sometimes called a peavy, for turning logs. And that made his legs, his hind legs, and his <laughs> dew claw, as it were. Uh, that worked out pretty good. And then some little push plows, garden push, push plows for his claws and sea clamps. But none of these pieces were cut or bent or shaped. They're all just um, just what they were when I picked them up. Of course I welded together some chain. It's going to be hard, hard to film. I need to have it out in the yard. I'll just back up and give you an idea what his wings look like. They are, of course, pitchforks. A little plow point there, another little push plow point for his tail. Little clamp, sea clamps around the eyes.
Well, I'll do a better video of this guy when the weather's better. But you get an idea, he's uh, he's kind of coming in for the kill there. And grab something with those big claws and carry it away. Okay, that's enough of that. I'll do a better job of filming this when the weather's better. And as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you.